Good afternoon, everybody. How you doing? I uh, just wanted to give you a quick tour of the new music room after I've uh, just about got it finished up. So uh, bear with me real quick. We'll do a quick tour and then I'll let you get back to your daily life. So this is kind of where I sit and do my, my own thing. There's my, my old stool that I use for uh, most of my videos and things that I do. Um, my cheap little music stand where my iPod or ad, iPad goes because uh, in old age you kind of forget the words and need to remind yourself now and then. Uh, again, glasses because, well, we're getting old so that's just the way it goes. Um, capos, tuner, all that fun stuff, some guitar polish, string cutter, string winder. Um, there's an old auto harp I found at a, uh, a garage sale. Uh, needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but still has all its strings and everything. Uh, eventually I'll get around to uh, getting that thing cleaned up and who knows, maybe we'll try and play that thing one of these days. Uh, my old hat, that gives me my other persona of uh, I can hide behind being another person. When, uh, when I put on the hat, yeah, let's, let's say that's the, that's the reason. Um, one of my favorite guitars. Uh, this is a Simon & Patrick Woodland Cedar. Uh, I got it for Christmas from my son a few years ago. Um, beautiful, rich sound. I love that thing. It's, it'll, be, uh, it'll be with me forever. Uh, there are a couple of guitars that are still in cases back there that I don't have any room for yet, but that's the way things go. Um, little mixer I have, little mic that I have there. Haven't started using this stuff yet, but who knows, could happen in the future. Uh, extra guitar strings. There's my Line 6 amp, trainer amp. There's an old uh, Ibanez that belongs to one of my sons. I uh, started doing some work doing it and never, never quite completed it, but uh, we'll see. Maybe one of these days it'll get finished. Uh, this is a guitar that my daughter built in um, high school. So she built it from start to finish um, and gave it to me. So it's a prized possession for my wall where it's going to stay. Um, this here is a little uh, Les Paul copy. It was a knockoff um, back in the 80s. It's the, uh, I believe it's the, the Lawsuit um, Gibson Baldwin guitar. But uh, yeah, it's it's it plays pretty good, and it was really really cheap when I found it. So um, down here we've got the the banjo tar, so a six string banjo. Um, played it in one of my videos. Um, I believe it was Glenn Campbell's video. Um, interesting sound, really interesting sound. I like them. It plays just like a, it's tuned just like a six string guitar. So that's that's great. Uh, my little jukebox I got for my birthday from one of my other boys. I've had that for a few years now. Um, Simon, or no, Art and Luthery. Art and Luthery, this was a pawn shop find of mine. Um, best $200 I ever spent. It's just a beautiful sounding guitar. It's one of my go-tos. I use it a lot. Uh, you've probably seen it in a lot of videos. Uh, my Gretsch. My Gretsch, I've been wanting a Gretsch forever. I found one uh, really cheap from... Um, a friend my wife went to school with years ago. Uh, when I purchased it from her, she had bought it from her son for lessons. It still had the color-coded strings on it from factory, so it was barely, barely used. Um, another great, one of my favorites. Uh, my Telecaster. Telecaster I've used a few times now. Just like the sound of them. They're going to sound all their own. Great little rig. Uh, again, bought that one new a few years ago. Had it quite a while. Never lets you down. So nice, a nice go-to guitar for electric. Um, this here is my Samick. My Samick was a pawn shop find I had. I've had this thing probably almost 10 years now. Um, don't really use it a lot. I need to do a little bit of work with the volume switch. The electronics got a little crackle to them, but again, another work in progress. So um, bass, Series A bass. That belongs to my wife. I bought that for her. She used to play bass in high school. Um, eventually, maybe we'll get her back to playing it again. So, uh, hey, who knows? We'll see what happens. Uh, Norman 12 string. I've played that in a couple of videos too. Again, a pawn shop find. You know, it's uh, Canadian made. Really, really like the nice, rich sound in that thing. Um, my Epiphone. I, uh, I really like this one too. I've I've played this one a few times in a few videos. 
great sounding guitar, easy to play, strings are nice and close, the action's nice and close. And another Simon & Patrick, the Simon & Patrick Cutaway, I played that, that's another go-to of mine. Um, use it pretty frequently. It's uh, it's one of my favorites. Both of these are acoustic electric. I just use them as acoustic versions. I never plugged them in. And my chair, for my chair for all of my fans, or my fan. Um, but hey, that's the way things go, right? So just a quick tour of the place. Um, I think I might have forgotten the cheap little square sitting here, the Strat. But uh, again, just another just another cheapy guitar I picked up. Uh, probably I don't know. I think it was like seventy five bucks at a yard sale a few years ago. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the tour of my new space. Uh, I'm hoping to put it to to good use. I've done quite a bit of work in it so far, and uh, yeah, we'll keep uh, we'll keep pumping out some music and. Uh, Hopefully you guys keep listening. So uh, appreciate your spending a few minutes with me. Have yourselves a great day.